In this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove difficult to remove viruses and trojans like Sailor T and Virat. These are patching viruses that patch actual executable files so you can't run any programs. So if you take a look in front of us we've got uh, an infected machine and as you can see this is a security central uh, fake uh, program and it actually stops everything that you're trying to do. So for instance if I'm trying to hit task manager it will close it down also uh, CMD if I try to run that it won't work also regedit all these types of common things that you need to sometimes remove viruses uh, even MS config anything of that nature it will just block everything Now these are pretty tricky to remove and uh, they can be quite frustrating if you haven't got the right stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video so uh, even if I try to install a program here, now I've got Malwarebytes here and I'm going to try and install it and I'll show you exactly what happens, nothing, it won't install. So that puts us in a bit of a difficult situation because for now we can't scan for any virus, especially as this machine doesn't have anything on it. If I try to um, kill the virus with other, uh, kill the process, you could do, do that by trying to find it in uh, System32, but I'm going to show you how to do do that with a bootable CD. So what I'm going to do is reset or restart my machine and once that's restarted we'll uh, just end that process. Okay so what we're going to do is restart into my bootable uh, virus uh, rescue CD. Now you can get these off my uh, forum, you can actually download, there's a lot of links on there for the actual ISO images and you can build a multi-boot one like I've got or you can actually just use one if you want to. So let's have a little look what's happening. Okay that's just going to quickly reboot. So now I need to go into antivirus and as you can see I've got a choice of uh, rescue CDs here I'm going to be using VBA rescue CD for this one so push enter there and just let it load up okay scanner settings I'm just gonna make sure these are all okay that's fine that's good enough for what we want there drives to scan that's okay and start scan. Now you can update if you want to I'd advise you to update but I've only got a 10 minute video so I haven't got really time to, to do all that. Now what we're trying to do here is lighten the load on the machine so we can actually install programs. Our main objective is to be able to install Malwarebytes and other programs and run them from the desktop. Now you could run uh, bootable rescue CDs like these you could uh, run two or three of these to actually see what's on the system and clear off most of it before you actually go back to the desktop so I advise you to do one or two of these different CDs to get off the bulk of the nasties and then obviously once you get to the desktop you can actually install what you want. So I'm going to pause the screen here and let this finish its scan and I'll see you back when it's finished. Okay that's finished now as you can see so I'll just push uh, continue and uh, shut this down. And what I want to do is uh, I'm going to go to um, another one and just do another scan for another one. Okay, and I'll probably do Bit Defender here. Give this a quick go. Let this load up. And we'll do two bootable scans just to make sure we've got a lot of the nasty ones off and there'll probably be still stuff on there but what we'll do is we'll get the majority of the stuff off that's stopping it from loading uh, programs so I'll let this load in okay let's load it up now so what I'm going to do is let the uh, scan run on Bitdefender 2010 and this should actually get some of the ones off that didn't get found on the last scan 
and as you can see it's found two already so we'll let this run and I'll see you when it's finished okay that's the scan finished so what I want to do now is just change this here to delete and then fix issues and that's that so what we need to do now is uh, we could do some other stuff from here but what I'm going to do is reboot the system and see how that's how that's done now whether it's uh, a lot better so what I'll do is I'll just quickly reboot restart okay it's very important that we don't click on any of these we don't need to install and also you want to make sure that you've got your network card disconnected from the internet okay so we're just going to try and install malware bytes here because before it wouldn't let us install it and it's letting us install now so that's good that's a good sign and I just want to check my task manager see if that's working that's actually working okay now as you can see we've probably got command prompt working yeah, okay we've got all our main stuff working now so I'm gonna I wanna make sure that I've got a firewall before I do an update but I'm not gonna bother in this video but I should have a firewall first okay if you, so if you're doing this make sure you've got some sort of firewall okay but I'm just gonna go for the update and then run a quick scan okay so that's the update done I just want to perform a quick scan here to get rid of any of the stuff that was left behind from the last scan so I'll just let this run and I'll see you when this is finished okay that's that scan finished now as you can see that's 54 results found and as you can see there's a lot of registry keys there basically because um, the main programs have been deleted but there's some registry keys here and some other files rootkit tdss files that are pretty nasty and uh, as you can see I'm going to clean these off now to get rid of these so I'm going to remove the selected and I'll probably ask for a reboot which it does so I'm going to reboot here quickly reboot and I'll see you back in a sec okay that's that restarted now so what I'm going to do is quickly install super anti spyware and uh, give that a run with that program as well so I shall start this off give that a run and also want to do a full long scan with uh, malware bytes as well again because when every time you find anything with the short quick scan you should also do a long scan okay so I'm just gonna check for updates quickly So let's just run a quick scan here and uh, I'll let that run and when that's finished we can have a look at the result okay that's that quick scan finished now and as you can see it's very important to always use more than one different types of uh, malware scanner because as you can see it's picked up a few other bits and pieces and to be fully clean of everything you want to make sure that it's asked me to reboot um, I'm not going to reboot at this stage but you should reboot okay make sure that you run this now obviously I would need to run this again on full scan like so just to make sure we've got everything clean okay and that will be pretty much and I would do the same with uh, Super Anti Spire as well and also I'd probably run something like Gma just to make sure there's no root kits on the system and that'll be about it really and we should be up and running and nice and clean now if you want any more information on getting these ISO images you can come to my uh, 
forum here, tech support forum, and you can see there's um, ISO images there for all the top uh, uh, rescue CDs that you can get on there. And there's loads of other information on the forum, okay? So anyway, I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, guys. Bye for now.